Good evening. Um, let me share with you this um, acute case I just finished. Patient is 82 years old, um, presented with uh, respiratory failure, found to have acute monastery elevation of MI, um, elevated troponin, and here is the EKG. Look at the AVR. There is some ST elevation in AVR. We call it the missing lead, and there is diffuse ST depression. And here is the angiogram of the left main. Hang up. Here is the AP view. There is tight arsial lesion in the um, uh, left main, heavily calcified. Here is the caudal view. See multiple branches. There is a stable lesion distal. Um, this is a um, uh, JL guide catheter, JL4, and then there is run through, and here is the first balloon to OX12. The balloon was upgraded to 3 ONC balloon, and then um, uh, shockwave 3.5. However, if you see here, I placed another wire this is the main wire and there is another run through wire. I place it as a body wire to allow advance in this stent. Here is the angiogram after the shock wave and here is you see two wires. Now once advance in the stent which is 4.5 x 12, 4.5 x 12, you pull the other body wire and place it in the aortic cusp as a floating wire. So the other wire, we place it in the cusp as a floating wire to show you exactly where we're gonna place the stent and if you're gonna um, miss the RC or not. Here is the um, placement. Looks like nice position. And then of course, in flaring the, um, uh, or deploying the stent as high pressure. And here is the angiogram. There is nice dye reflex. There is no um, damping or ventricularization of the pressure. At this point, I opted to advance the um, uh, IVUS catheter to check the stent and the um, distal left main lesion. And here is the IVUS catheter. The distal left main was not significant and the stent was well opposed. Yet I post dilated using 5 ONC balloon. There is 5 ONC balloon at high pressure to flare the ostia. And here is the final result. Thank you and have a good night.